What's up guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter. I'm in the editing suite and we are here to look at some benchmarks of the editing hub that I did in a previous video. Um, you guys asked for it, I totally spaced and didn't include that, which is pretty important. So we're gonna look at the speed of the card slots compared to my IMAX built-in SD card reader. We're also gonna take a look at the RAID 0 and how fast it is. Now a couple things to note, the hard drives inside of this unit are two one terabyte drives and they are 7200 RPM. So I'm gonna be comparing those speeds with Blackmagic's speed test app with the same drive, but a single drive. So same specs, although it's not in a RAID 0, which is what is in this box. If you haven't seen the Editing Hub video, definitely check it out. I show you how to make a sweet, cheap box that has three USB 3 card readers, as well as a RAID 0 for really fast editing. So I'm gonna go ahead and power the unit up with the button. There you go, proof that it's running, the little LED light. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start the screencast and see what we find. All right, so here we are on my desktop. Uh, there's a poop ton of drives here. I've got another video. I'll be talking about this crazy system. It's kind of an in-between system. But anyway, um, we're mainly gonna be looking up at the right, top right area of the screen where we're, we're gonna see our stuff show up here in a second. So um, on the desktop, I already plugged in the RAID. So I just have it named here as RAID 0. And uh, so we can see it's two terabytes. So that means there are two one terabytes connected. So let's go ahead and do a speed test on that hard drive. So I'm going to, on the application, we're gonna do a one gig stress test. And we're going to select our drive. I know, tons of drives, it's ridiculous. RAID 0, corporate video guide coming to a screen near you. Um, hit choose. And I'm gonna go ahead and run the test. So keep in mind, this is not SSD. These are two spinning drives, and that's pretty respectable for USB 3. So we're looking at 141 megabytes a second for the write, and the read is also similar. So now we're gonna select the next drive, which is not a RAID 0. So we're comparing the RAID 0 of the unit we made to a similar drive are actually exactly the same drive. So that's this drive, Projects. I'm gonna hit Choose, and this is a one terabyte, 7200 rotation per minute, same brand, same model. And now you guys can see the massive difference. We're now at 61.8 megabytes a second compared to our 141, 144 that we got on the RAID 0. So there you go, proof. It's a lot faster using the RAID 0 and uh, works really, really well. So next, let's take an SD card. I'm gonna plug it first into my iMac and see how fast it transfers a file and then what the disk speed application says this thing runs at. Um, again, I, this is an iMac, it's an older one, it's a 2011. I have no idea what your computer's built-in card reader is gonna be like, but I'm, you know, I made this for my setup, which was this thing was super slow. So we're gonna see what we got here. So I have no idea what's on this card, by the way, so this will be interesting. I'm gonna lean over, plug it into the iMac. Should pop up here on the desktop, there it is, from the GH4. Let's go in here, uh, get out of here, photos. No one likes you. Um, let's look at this file, it's 1.03 gig, so it's around a gig. And what I'm gonna do is set up my stopwatch right over here. And I'm going to hit start the second I release it on the desktop and then stop it when it finishes copying. So boom, here we go, one gigabyte from the built-in iMac SD card slot. Boom, 52.9 seconds. So we're looking at about 53 seconds for one gigabyte. Now, while we have it plugged into the computer, let's hop over to the Blackmagic app and let's select the SD card slot and see what we get. So I'm gonna scroll down, there's the Lumix, choose. And we're gonna do the same stress test at one gig. And I hit start and we're looking at, kind of all over the place, 11.8 for maximum write which doesn't matter as much as read, and we're looking at 20 megabytes, 20.5 for read. And read's really the one I'm thinking about here, so we're looking at around 20 megabytes a second for the read. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug it, and plug it into 
the first slot on the editing hub and it should load here there it is so while it's fresh in our minds let's do a speed test photos go home all right select our target drive lumix and start it boom 52 on our right And 80 freaking seven, almost 89, 88, 88 on our read, 88 megabytes a second compared to 20, which was my iMac. So I don't know if it's just a crappy iMac, but it's pretty fast, obviously. So you can imagine three of those suckers rocking at, uh, you know, 80 megabytes a second. It's, it's pretty decent. So I'm going to stop this. And just for kicks and giggles, we're going to copy that same file over. 1.03 gigs gonna reset my stopwatch on my phone same thing as before i'm gonna start it right when i release and we're off to the races all right and we're at 1743 so 20 seconds versus 50 whatever seconds i stopped that a little late at any rate, it's faster. So there you have it, that is the results, the benchmarks of this puppy. I'm gonna post the numbers now because I can't remember them even though it wasn't that long ago. Um, yeah, so the cards, much faster than the built-in iMac. It's gonna be different for everyone, but I noticed it was horribly slow for me. So I can take three different cameras, import them at the same time. Um, the internal drives, even though they're not SSD, that's pretty respectable for spinning drives uh, set up with the RAID Zero. If you wanted a killer sick messed up fast setup you could use ssds and that would be outrageous so um yeah it's just a raid zero two hard drives three sd card slots check out the video if you haven't um, comment below ask me any questions if you have any and if you make something like this please please send it my way i love this kind of stuff i would love to see what you guys come up with and uh, what kind of problems you solve with a device like this so thank you for watching as always you can watch new videos here at dslr video shooter every single tuesday and thursday i will see you guys in the next video